Here I am, I'm continuing to work through some of the problems of the practice GRE, the physics GRE, which I have bad memories of. I took it a long time ago. I've done a couple questions so far. The whole playlist will be down below. Uh, let's just jump into this and then I'll leave my comments uh, below. Okay, so we're on, I'm on question number three. This says, two simple pendulums, would that be a penduli or pendulum? Pendulums, A and B, consist of identical masses suspended from strings of length L A and L B. That makes sense. The two pendulums oscillate in equal gravitational fields. Okay. I like that because just to just in case you're trying to find a trick, but I mean it's technically you have to say that. If the period of pendulum B is twice the period of pendulum A, which of the following is true? Okay, so we're we're talking about the period of a pendulum. So the lengths are different. So let's just draw a pendulum. I don't know why. I don't even need this. And, and normally, you know, you have to do these questions fast. So I'm doing them slow. So it says uh, the two, the period of A, is, okay, so we don't know the length. So we'll call this LA, and then this is pendulum A, and this is pendulum B. And um, let's just draw it as a different length. I'm not even thinking right now. LB. Okay, so we know something about the period. Now let me go ahead and say, from what I understand, you don't get an equation sheet for this for this test. And I just happen to know the period of pendulum, t equals two pi square root of L over G. Now, if I didn't know that, could I do this problem? Well, or how, more importantly, what I love about physics is that most of the equations you can derive, can you derive this equation for the period of a pendulum? Well, you kind of can. Um, just in case you, you couldn't do this, you, you kind of can if you make the assumption that the angle is small and you assume it looks like a pure simple harmonic motion. Um, I guess, I mean, I don't want to do that right now. Uh, I've done, I have a video on that. If you want me to make a video about how to derive that equation super quick, I will. Just make a comment down below and request it and I meet the requests of all my, my people that watch videos, I hope. Okay, but let's just see if this makes sense. If I have a pendulum swinging, um, there's that gravitational field. The longer the pendulum, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a longer period. Yeah. Right, a really short period is going to go like that. Okay, so that makes sense. Just double checking. Uh, now the 2 pi, whether it's 1 over 2 pi or 2 pi, that one's hard to remember. That is the square root. I mean, really, this is the same as the one thing you can do is remember it's like... Uh, the period of oscillation for a mass on a spring, 2 pi square root of mass over k. And, and again, that's something that you, maybe you should keep an equation sheet that you memorize, but that's fine. Okay, so back over here, we know that the following, the period of pendulum B, TB, equals twice that of A, twice 2 TA. And so they want to know something about the lengths. So let's just say TB is going to be equal to 2 pi, square root of LB over G, and that's going to be equal twice of A, so it's going to be 2 times 2 pi square root of LA over G. And now we want to get an expression for LB. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I have to do is to solve for this. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 pi. I'm going to square both sides. So now I have LB over G equals, if I square this, I have a 2 there that squares. I get, that's a G. 4 LA over G. Now I can multiply both sides by G and I get LB equals 4 LA. And so if I go over here, that would be option E. Now I might get this wrong. I'm going to tell you right now. I might get these wrong. And I would like to point out also what I've said. I'm not super happy with this test so far because the main thing right here if you know that equation for the period of oscillation for a pendulum, then you're good to go. And I'm not sure, is that what they, I could see if, if you're very familiar with physics, if you've done a lot of physics, you would know that equation. But knowing that equation doesn't mean you understand physics. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'll do, I'll do another problem. Um, I'll do some more of these and see how, I don't know how, if I'll do the whole thing, but I'm going to keep working through these because why not? And like I said, there were, I'm, I have a playlist. I'm going to put all the ones I solve in a playlist down below so you can check out those if you want.